Hey, what's up, guys? My last day before heading out to Seattle for UFC on Fox 5. Very excited. It's been a fantastic fight camp. Uh, heading to AKA right now for my last session uh, before I leave. So, should be a good one. And thought I'd bring you guys along. So, that's AKA hidden in those trees. 24,000 square feet of total gym badass. Alright, and here's what I take to training every day. Got my training bag here, and got my trash bag here. I've <laughs> been doing this for like 10 years. Um, it's because I put my training clothes in there, and they are dry when they go to training, but they are soaking wet with sweat when they leave. So the trash bag does a great job of uh, keeping the sweaty clothes away from everything else. And my training bag has wheels, as you can see. Makes it super easy to transport to and from the workout facility. And it makes a unique and distinct sound as I walk towards AKA. And nobody's in here, which is usually not the case. This is uh, the lobby of AKA. Got all the clothes here. This is our sparring room that the light's not on yet. It will be soon, today's sparring day. TRX room. The walls are covered with historic photographs and memorabilia. That's Josh Thompson. Look at that, the punk right there. Really? I can't Getting wait ready for to talk training. Look. To you. Okay. Can't wait. He's already knowing I'm not sparring today. Look at him. He's all pumped up. He's like, ah, oh, Swick ain't sparring today. Swick's fight camp is over. I can get geared up and get ready to go today. You didn't want none of this. That's John Fitch. Always here early. Always ready and on time. Got his gear going. Ready to beat people up. That's right. I got a story. Mike Swick had a great training camp. So on Saturday, you boys be prepared for. Vintage Mike Swick quick fight. Maybe get old Swick a teen in there. All right, so what do you got planned on Saturday? Which I've got, a, I've got, I've actually got a fundraiser event, and then we have a big old viewing party for, for Mike's fight. It's gonna be 80 people there watching and rooting and cheering. I'm gonna bring a camera so that we can put it in the post-fight video that Mike's gonna put up. This is uh, Leandro Vieira. This is my BJJ coach. He's quite the comedian as well. Uh, ugly English, what else more? Can I speak in Portuguese? It'd be easier. Oh, no. no. uh, I know, I know you're the, you're the guy that knocked people out. But come on, give him a submission. Come on, for your jiu-jitsu coach, please. <laughs> you want a submission, huh? Yeah, make me proud. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm be happy to see you win the fight no matter what. Bring, bring back home. Let's, let's celebrate. Over here to my left is, is my coach, Walt Pops Carvalho. Still better than I ever could be. Still younger than I could be. Catches everybody. I can't do it. I'm falling apart. He's still going strong. I learned everything from him and how to and give you guys confidence and instill that in you. Because that's what Pops is all about. Good technique, good confidence, and no powder puffing. No powder puffing. No powder puffing. Not a punch hard. This is the upstairs VK. This is our weight room. And today, my first little workout of the day is going to be in the private room. I'm going to use the airdyne, which is in there. And then there's everyone training down there. This is where it happens. My Kyle. Hey, you know? AKA Strong. AKA DC strong. is just tired after training. I'm exhausted. He can't even stand up. I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> They're sweeping around him. <laughs> All that hard work, man. 
the guys in here. Do work in here, huh? Oh, yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, man. We'll get him this weekend, Swicky. Thank you, brother. Sean Bunch after his big win. How do you feel, buddy? Feeling, feeling good, man. Ready, ready to get back in the gym. Training again. Another fight. Another what do you got to say for Swick this weekend? Kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is my old sparring partner here. He used to hey, kick my ass by the nose. before every freaking fight. Boxer. Big dude. Tough. But every time Jimmy beats me up, I win the fight. So hey, uh, it's tough. It's Mike's good. Tough. It's it's good luck to get beat up by this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but I turn it back on. <laughs> I got you now. Nobody wants to stand in my ugly. Come on. Are we gonna have a good time like last time? For sure, for sure. No cuts or black eyes this time, right? Well, anyways, it'll be a good, 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 good day. Good day. Good. Either. I don't know nobody there, so. Yeah, I'll get you a stick there. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be your friend. <laughs> I'll be your friend too. <laughs> One of my main training partners for this fight, Ron Kessler, showed up every day, beating me up, kicking me in the face, elbowing me in the face, so I really appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate all the help you give me for this camp, man. My pleasure. Thank you. Thompson, old school, been here since day one, one of the biggest helps on the team. You're lucky to get no spar with me this week. He's my unofficial team leader, this guy. <laughs> he's really been here so long, man. I'm really done. I've got a lot of gray hair to prove it. Big shout out to uh, the other OG. Any any last advice from from the NYBA? Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Jump on him. Too fast. Get in his face. Put it on him. Then afterwards, we'll go to Thailand and do some training again. <laughs> Alright, so I just left AKA, uh, final workout session. I did 30 minutes on the airdyne, then I did some mitt work and a little bit of rolling. And I'm always drinking coconut water, by the way. It is uh, the water of life. I think it has done enormous things for my fight camp and for my health, so I'm drinking it around the clock. So this is what I come home to every day. My baby girl. Oh, hi. That was nice. Hi, daddy. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been asking me what I listen to uh, when I'm doing cardio for fight camps and stuff. And though it changes with every fight, this fight camp, I've been listening to a lot of MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, his new uh, album, Lace Up. So. Wake up to the same shit, in the same house, with the same bricks, in the same clothes, with the same kicks, I might as well be in jail. KD, stepping at the wall, waiting for a change, but they're telling me I gotta get a job. Could have been a bill, so the lights turned off. They could be If you haven't heard it, check it out. It's, uh, you know, I get a lot of my inspiration from music and... Even though I can't relate to a lot of uh, the people and things I get inspiration from, um, it's still inspiring. So, um, obviously I can't relate to the life of MGK, but the fact that he's came up and now he's breaking through and, and making a big name for himself, coming from nothing, uh, it's inspiring, you know? And, and so, it, it's cool listening to powerful music like that that tells a story. And, you know, that was a person's journey from from nothing but having dreams to living their dreams and uh, I think it's awesome so you know I, I think everyone should pursue something and they should uh, listen and pay attention to whatever triggers that inspiration going to see Dr. Stidham Okay, so this is Dr. Stidham, who did my knee and elbow surgery at the same time, right after my fight. So his, uh, he came in to see me about three months ago after his last fight, and he had no quad. The whole thing was atrophied, and he had fluid in his knee, and he couldn't straighten his knee. He lost at least five degrees of uh, extension and anytime you're an athlete you can't perform without uh, extension I don't care what sport you are but this is an explosive athlete he needs full extension so we went to uh, surgery really and what our whole goal of surgery was to uh, make sure his ACL was okay which it was but also get rid of all of scar tissue and then after that uh, Mike worked really hard um, to get his motion back and get his quad tone back and quad efficiency tone back and the reality is now he's better than he's ever been as far as the left knee goes his left knee is stable his ACL is working He's got no fluid in his knee, his quad is ripped, his quad is toned, and uh, his extension's back. Uh, and so 
uh, from an athletics perspective, his knee is perfect. So that sounds like uh, I'm clear to fight. No, you're definitely clear <laughs> to fight, and I'm glad I'm not the one in the ring against you, man. All right, so I got cleared by Dr. Stidham, a uh, great doctor. He did King Mo surgery as well as Daniel Cormier, uh, really good surgeon. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to head to the shop and see how the banner and fight shorts are going. All right, going to check out my shop, see how the late crew's holding it down. Looks kind of dark. <laughs> What's up? Working hard? Always. <laughs> okay, so these are my shorts for uh, UFC on Fox 5. our printer. Got our showroom here. Our stickers and decals. Some mini replicas of some of the fight banners that we've done. Uh, Josh Thompson, Daniel Cormier when he fought uh, Josh Barnett for the uh, title. Ricky Fukuda. This is Combat Life's headquarters as well. There's USO there. And some sample t-shirts. And we'll go take a look and see how everything is going in the back. Back here is the bunker. This is the Combat Life headquarters in there. All the Combat Life clothes. And here is the print warehouse. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Filming. Filming. Working late, huh? Yep. How's it going, man? It's going. Another long day. How's everything been going here at the shop? It's been busy. Lots of shirts going through here. And just staying on top of everything. Cool, man. I heard you're doing a great job. I'm trying to. <laughs> awesome, dude. Alright, this is Jeff, my shop manager, working late as well. Man, who, who put in this order for these fight shorts? Keeping you here after hours, man. That's crazy. Uh, the old heat press. Nice. Dethrone. Some high tech stuff here. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Oh, here she comes. There she is. There's my wife and baby girl. Hey. Oh. Hey, baby. She's a little shy. Oh, kiss. That's what we have to say about that. <laughs> the fight. There you go. It's all yours, baby. Okay. 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 That's the end of my video. Sorry. Uh, okay. Everything went great. I just got to pack and head down to UFC on Fox 5. So. Uh, <laughs> I will see you guys there. Yeah. <laughs>